I put the two dangling plants down on either corner of the steps so that you could see where they are and also they kept falling out of the baskets and I'm af I was afraid they were going to get damaged beyond belief. I also placed stones in a way that would show where the paths would go. The amazing lilacs are spectacularly beautiful. Right, Truth? We're going to go down and show you. It's so pretty. And I just realized that since my property goes on the other side of these lilacs and there's a beautiful stone wall on the other side of this fence, when this fence goes, I'm going to put the stone, the fence on the other side of the stone wall because the stone wall is such a gorgeous feature and it's completely hidden behind this fence. At any rate, I created a stone path for the brick pathway and it will go right through behind where the chairs used to go behind, you know, in front of the, the plants and the little grist stone. And this is in the way, of course, where we normally put our chairs. But as you can see, we have a nice path on one side at least, going down to where the stairs are. And on this side, I made a path going to the basement and another little path that will go in front of the, in front of the garden, make a little garden bed area. I've decided to plant my roses right here and on this trellis here and around on either side of this door, around the door here. So I think that that will be really beautiful. So that's nice. Um, so that's that and you can see the red dangly plants. I was hoping they would be high enough to dangle over the sides of the stone wall, but really they're just not capable. I'm not sure how they would be planted in the wild if they just put their little faces in the dirt all the time. So I'm probably going to, when they die, because they'll probably die in this way with their faces in the ground, I'll probably get two really, really huge pots to put on either side for dangly plants all along this stone wall so that we won't see down there the generator if we have huge pots with dangly plants. I think that would be nice. Um, let's go to the front and look at the garden that we planted and I finished planting everything and I decided not to put the roses there. Mainly because I think that the, the garden looks really good without them and Currently, since there is a possibility that the roses might get disturbed while the guys are waterproofing the front of the house, stay here, Choose. I decided it would be better to not plant roses right now. When the waterproofing is done, it's probably a better idea. So you see here the petunias or whatever they are, and there's little bits of moss here and there. between zones. My garden looks lush and beautiful with all of its furs. And I also put a few of our impatients in and among and I put a stone there to stop the dirt from coming through. Maybe that will help and you can see all the little impatience in there. These are the little mini blue bells. Maybe they will stand back up again when they get used to being planted, when their roots get stronger. And you can see all the little moss put in between the toes of the white lilac. And so at some point, 
I'll put a rose or two roses between these windows to train over the windows and around them. But I'm really concerned because I can see the white shimmel kind of on the red brick. And that's usually a sign of water penetration. So I think I need to not plant anything permanent and expensive back there. And I think the garden looks really good anyway. So this is all quite good and quite lovely. probably be in the one way looking better if I planted mulch all along here but I really want to give the plants a chance to propagate you would not believe that I took two large garbage bags more of those roots out this morning and I don't know if you can I mean of course you can't see but I'm entirely soaked because I hi Trusy. I did all this in the rain. Okay, bye-bye.